Apple has released new iPhone models every year in the fall, and 2022 will be no exception. But there have been rumors regarding upcoming changes to Apple's latest smartphone since way before the iPhone 13 models were even released last year. The camera bumps for the new iPhone could get thicker, and Apple is also expected to introduce new colors. So sit back and relax as we discuss the expected upgrades for the upcoming iPhone 14. First up, new Face ID hardware and notchless design. An Apple analyst predicted in March 2021 that the 2022 iPhone models will not have a notch but would adopt the hole punch style design that has been popular on many Android smartphones. Rumors have circulated since then, and we now have a better idea of what to expect from the event. A pill shaped and circular cutout is expected to be used instead of simply one hole punch cutout in Apple's new design, according to a report in the Wall Street Journal. As for the Face ID, a dot projector is expected to be replaced in the circular cutout, while the front camera, Face ID infrared camera, and potentially other parts are located in the pill-shaped cutout. Some of the iPhone's Face ID technology may also be located beneath its screen, reducing the size of its required cutouts and freeing up more screen space on the front. But the combined dimensions of the two cutouts aren't much larger than the conventional notch, so don't expect a significant increase in the amount of usable display area. Secondly, a new body design? In March, several alleged images of the iPhone 14 models leaked, and the regular iPhone 14 models would have no design changes, keeping the same look of the iPhone 13 models. The diagonal camera layout meant a typical notch and the same camera bump on the back. But despite Apple offering two 6.1-inch and two 6.7-inch iPhones, there wouldn't be an iPhone 14 mini. And because the camera bumps have grown by 5%, iPhone 13 cases are unlikely to work with iPhone 14 models due to this increase in size. Oh man, we were hoping to use our iPhone 13 cases on our new 14 models. Next up, we have new color options and upgraded cooling system. According to unverified rumors, Apple is expected to release the iPhone 14 and iPhone 14 Pro in purple color with a special finish that changes colors depending on the light. Thanos phone maybe? As for their upgraded cooling system, Apple is rumored to be aggressively testing a vapor chamber heating system for high-end iPhones starting in 2022. Since high-end iPhones will have have more powerful processors and faster 5G connections, they'll need the VC thermal system. Samsung, Razer, and LG smartphones already use vapor chamber coating technology to keep their devices cool when they're under heavy stress functions. And if the vapor chamber thermal system doesn't satisfy Apple's high standards, they are currently rumored to be working on upgrading it with their high-end models expected to adopt it in the near future. Followed by improved camera technology. iPhone Pro models in 2022 are expected to have a 48 megapixel pixel wide angle camera, which would be a significant upgrade from the 12 megapixel camera on the present model and their 8K video recording features. Apple analyst Ming-Chi Kuo believes that the 8K video recording function will allow the iPhone to record videos that are more fit for augmented and mixed reality devices like Apple's AR VR headset that are presented on an 8K monitor or TV to deliver a better user experience. But unfortunately, only the Pro models will be able to film in 8K and use the 48 megapixel wide lens. The normal iPhone 14 models will only have a 12 megapixel camera. Damn, smells like broken here. Additionally, if the rumor is to be believed, the enhanced front camera on this year's iPhone 14 models will have a large f1.9 aperture and autofocus functions, which would result in an improved depth of field and sharper images can be captured by using a wider aperture on a camera lens. Video calls would also benefit from the new focusing features. Then we have a life-saving feature. If all goes well, an iPhone and Apple Watch crash detection feature is expected to be available in 2022. It simply works using sensors like the accelerometer, detecting a surge in gravitational force during a car crash. In a car accident, the iPhone or the Apple Watch would automatically call 911 to receive help. The iPhone 14 and the Apple Watch Series 8 may be the original recipient for this function, which is scheduled for release in 2022, although it is not certain that it will be limited to those models. The fall detection feature is also expected to be enhanced in the current Apple Watch and iPhone models. Up next, Apple finally standing on their own feet. It's expected that a 10 gigabit per second Qualcomm Snapdragon X65 modem and antenna technology for smartphones will be used in the iPhone 14 versions. And finally, Apple won't have to rely on Samsung anymore as Samsung's RF chips will no longer be used in the new iPhone. According to Taiwan's Economic Daily News, Apple has placed an order with TSMC for 5G RF chips, suggesting that the company 
is using its own technology instead of Samsung's. TSMC's 6 nanometer process is said to be used in the production of the chips, resulting in a smaller package and a lower power consumption. As a result, the new iPhone has greater battery life when using the new 5G technology. As part of Apple's plans to adopt the Qualcomm Snapdragon X65 modem, the company will integrate satellite-based emergency features that allow users to send texts and report major emergencies in regions without cellular coverage. Emergency messages via satellite will allow users to text emergency services and contacts utilizing a satellite network when no cellular or Wi-Fi signal is available, with gray message bubbles identifying them from SMS and iMessage as a third-party messaging system. But messages can only be a certain length during these emergency situations. Followed by another major upgrade. Normally, newer A-series chips are included in new versions of the iPhone, but Apple may break tradition this year. According to Apple expert Ming-Chi Kuo, only the iPhone 14 Pro versions will receive the new and faster A16 chip. He claims that the A16 processor may only slightly improve the A15 chip. Improvements are limited because the chip is anticipated to be produced using the same N5P technology as the A15 chip. Although the iPhone 14 is anticipated to use the same A15 Bionic chip as the iPhone 13 models, a leaker claims that the new devices will experience an overall performance boost as a result of a new internal design, an updated cellular modem, and other updates which may result in faster performance. Cool also predicts that Wi-Fi 6E connectivity will be included on the iPhone 14. Wi-Fi 6E will provide the high-speed wireless transmissions required for AR and VR experiences. This technology is also anticipated to be included in the mixed reality headgear, which might be released in 2022. Wi-Fi 6E offers the speed improvement and low latency offered by the Wi-Fi 6 while utilizing the 6 GHz frequency in addition to the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz channels to increase bandwidth and reduce interference. Additionally, Apple introduced a new 1 TB storage tier with the iPhone 13 Pro models, and reports say that with the iPhone 14 upgrade, they may expand it even further to 2 TB. That's like an entire hard drive inside a phone. This rumor, however, originates from a source that isn't always reliable, so it should be taken with caution unless verified by a different, more trustworthy source. Then we're getting the physical SIM slot removed. Apple may switch to an eSIM only design with the iPhone 14 models, which might eliminate the need for a physical SIM slot. According to reports, Apple has advised major US carriers to get ready for the 2022 release of eSIM only handsets. This raises the possibility that some iPhone 14 models would be the first to lack a SIM card slot. The tech giant offered some iPhone 13 units without a nano SIM slot in the package. Cellular plans might be activated using an eSIM instead. Cellular plans can also be added to a smartphone utilizing an eSIM rather than a nano SIM. Since eSIM technology isn't accessible in every nation, some regions' iPhone will still require to have a nano SIM slot. It may be optional in nations where a SIM-free iPhone is offered, allowing customers to select a model that includes a SIM. A list of the more than 60 nations that support eSIM may be seen on Apple's website. And finally, when will the new iPhone 14 drop? If the company follows prior launch schedules, Apple is anticipated to unveil the iPhone 14 models at an event that will most likely take place in September 2022. The initial pricing for the iPhone 14 is anticipated to be $799, the same as the iPhone 13s, in an effort to enhance demand and sales. Apple does not plan to raise the price of the entry-level smartphone, but the starting price may vary as the iPhone 14 is expected to be jam-packed with new upgrades and uphauled hardware. But we generally wish the entry-level starting price to be as low as possible just so we can cop the upcoming iPhone 14 ASAP. That's all for this video. Are you happy with the features we're apparently getting? What other features do you want for the new iPhone 14? Let us know in the comments below. And remember, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content in the future. Thanks for watching and see you next time.